Being an EAMT is the most difficult job emotionally that I've ever had in my entire life. Physically too, we deal with sick and injured animals daily and we're the ones that have to show up and, and get these poor animals out of the road, get these animals that have been stuck in a tree for a week and are, are literally up there dying of thirst. Unfortunately in our community the situation is so dire that there really are animals every single day, pretty much every hour, that need help. Every time we go out, every time we see one of these animals out there, we know we're rescuing somebody's pet and we're bringing back a life. We deal with some of the worst neglect and abuse cases. We see the worst in human nature. But then again, we are able, through our treatment and care of the animals, to see the best in human nature. They look at us and we know that no matter what it takes, we have to save them. We go on 22,000 calls each year, and we rely on, on brave, good Samaritans like the Davis family to help us out as much as possible. It was a morning like any other. I get up early and go for a hike, and it was, the sun hadn't quite come up yet. As I hit the top of the mountain, I realized that there was a black object right next to my left foot. And I realized that it was a dog, and so my heart just kind of stopped. I can tell he's a stray because there's no collar. He's kind of dirty. He has thorns in his body. The memory is burned into my mind. His little brown eyes were looking straight up at me, and he couldn't move because he was hurt. It's been five months, and I still see that image of how someone had left him laying there just like that. I just realized I couldn't leave him up here alone. I just thought, I'm gonna try to pick him up. I put my arms around him, and. We just started walking, and that's how it went for the next hour. I had sent my husband a Google picture of the dot where he could find me. When we finally pulled up, she was already standing up with Elijah in her arms. I just trusted my instincts, and I ran over to him. He opened his eyes, and he looked up at me, and he gave me a kiss on the side of my cheek. And I kept putting my hands on his heart because I was really afraid that he wasn't going to survive much longer. The issue was is that this dog was hurt. He was not our dog off to Arizona Humane Society we went. Jesse held Elijah's leash and sat there with him for a bit while they came back and gently led him away. And I thought that, that's, it can't end like this, this isn't it. I was lucky enough to be on duty when Elijah was brought into our hospital. He was limping pretty badly on his left front leg. We weren't really sure what his injuries were. We were thinking maybe broken leg, something like that. They called me and said that uh, he had been shot this changes everything. He did in fact have a bullet lodged in his shoulder. The bullet had fragmented. There were lots of little pieces all scattered throughout. I thought about him reviving in the back of the truck, looking at Jesse and just that tail starting to thump, thump, thump a little bit across the bottom of the truck. And, and so I called the Arizona Humane Society. The idea was just to ask them, what, what can I do to help? When we walked out with Elijah that day, the gentleman at the intake desk, he turns and looks at me and said, are you the one that brought him down the mountain? And I said, yes. And he reached out his hand and he, he shook my hand and said, thank you. And he was thanking me for bringing in another injured animal. And it just opened up my eyes to see that there are real people there with compassion for these animals doing a job because they care. We are so proud of the Davis family and everything they did for Elijah, and we are truly honored as an organization to be a part of their happy ending. We owe everything that we do on a daily basis here to our donors. Every vaccination, every medication, every field truck that's out on the streets are all due to the generosity and kindness of our donors. When you give those dollars to the Humane Society, you're saving Elijah and you're saving other animals like him. When you come here to our shelter, you'll find another family member like Elijah and you'll, you'll see a different story in each kennel. There's no greater feeling or reward than getting to see the joy on an animal's face when they get to go home with their family.